All right, <clears throat> this is the mag again. One last time, before I get in there and clean it really good. It was, that was just a little brake cleaner and a rag. But uh, what I want to show you is the uh, wiring harness. So we got the complete, I got it removed, sitting here. It's all together as a unit. I believe this is the way it'll come in the mail. But this one, wire, this <coughs> side went to this mag. And you can see that it's pretty clean. A little preservative in there. But um, just starting to get a little dirt built up carbon arc not too bad I mean it's served its life and did well and there's still a little life left in it I think it would work just fine but then we got this other side so this all can I'm sure it was all a kit it's same it's, it's the same year so this is what was going on in the other mag that I over there took off cleaned inspected looks good but in here, shot. The stuff is wasted. It still works, still firing, but you can see it was starting to have serious issues being carbon built up. Now I could clean all that and make it serviceable again. But it's just the old, the, this is the age. This is, I would say, 80s. This is a wiring harness from the 1980s. This is when last this engine was overhauled in '82, or this engine was put on there. This airframe in 1982. Um, I'm not sure if this is the original engine and it was just overhauled, which I believe probably is the case. The other one was a little different; came from a different place. Um, swapped engines, but this is all. This is all old school that served a good life but it's time to time to buck up and buy a new set and so a whole new set I ordered this morning is like I think it's five hundred and forty five dollars for a whole the whole wiring harness kit so I'm saying everything you know, the stuff that costs five to fifty dollars working on cars is fifty to five hundred dollars in airplanes <laughs> $500 seems to be the normal price for everything uh, at a minimum. So then this was underneath. So we'll get this all cleaned up. See how rusty it is? Unsat. So we're going to get this all cleaned up. And Al started working on putting that piece. So this is Al's work. He loves doing this kind of stuff. And he knocks it out quick. So um, we'll get her. Now let's... So we got to change out the rubber. So I've got all new, all new baffle material, blue. It's gonna be all of, all blue, all the set of black. Right. So I'm setting some. So I got the fuel injection lines in here. That's the air breathe, air filter. Uh, for now, I'll set this in here. So yeah, this. This mag, this was the mag that that bad wiring harness was on. And like I said, it, it, it was it had, it had a bunch of dirt down in here in the bottom, but I cleaned it pretty good, I think. Just need to scrub a little more with like a greeny pad and uh, get the stain out so it doesn't creep back up. Try to figure out how to make a good seal. They don't put, there's no gaskets, there's no seals. It's just mate, mating service to mating service. So I got to make sure that the, both mating services are clean and looking good. And they got vent holes. So, right? Yeah, this one. So this one's got vent holes in the back of it. So, yeah. She'll be good. She's good for another couple hundred hours for, so I figured 200 hours more on the mags. 
after I change the capacitors. So let's change the capacitors. We'll put another 200 hours on these mags and then send them in for their 500 hour IRAN inspection. Well, I get, you know, so that, that gives us plenty of time to get our, get up to speed because that'll be a few years, 200 hours. So I suspect I'll probably be flying this about 50 hours a year is my estimate. And really all I need is I need is get 100 hours. I need to work hard in this and get it up to 100 hours so I can get hired on a commercial airliner. <sighs> all right. So we're going to kind of wrap it up now. I'll pull that other mag and get all that set off to the side. And then I need to go back to the computer and start ordering parts again. That's been the big challenge is learning all of this stuff and why it is the way it is. I don't want to know just that's what it is. I want to know why it's that way. I want to learn the background, the engineering that goes into the, into the aviation. Because we pretty much got car stuff down, ASE certified, all that. But this. The, these don't use that's metric this is standard american standard but not counting that the actual hardware tolerances are different between regular metric or standard car parts and nuts and bolts they're not this they're not the same design and specification that aircraft nuts and bolts are are two different worlds completely two different worlds and they just you, you don't even they don't even correspond except for some of the stuff that's chrome um like chrome washers some some of the some of the part require or part numbers come up as chrome parts or stainless steel and see so you, you got to know the difference in how to read the part numbers to what's a steel cadmium plated versus what's stainless steel and stainless steel is not as strong as regular steel so it, you got to you got to know why and what so when you go to torque you got to know you know what you're torquing and why it is and what kind of mating surfaces and everything that you that you're after so we're good for now all right talk to you there bye